So, I've got a uh, Cabo Mantis 10 in for repair. The controller's blown uh, with the rear wheel connected. You should be able to see that. I didn't put my hands in the way. It does not spin. It's, uh, it's basically shorted. The MOSFET's probably blown. So what I'll do is I will disconnect the rear motor cable from the controller. Like so. And that's what it's supposed to do. Yeah, as you can probably see, this scooter went on the beach, absolutely covered in sand, not good for it. But, oh well, got a replacement controller here. And the uh, the only, uh, the best way I've found of doing it, see the water damage sticker is intact, um, is to one by one pull the cables out and replace them. Uh, otherwise, some of these, the colours don't match up, it can be very, very confusing as to what's what. So rear motor cables on this come out with the battery terminal that's orange, which is uh, coated in this sort of orange material here. So this one here will be for the rear motor. That one there will be for the front motor. And then all this really fun gubbins is for uh, later. So. Luckily, I happen to have a third controller here. This is another blown one. But what I'll do is I'll, it's identical again. What I'll do is I'll be uh, connecting all the cables up to those. So, and that just helps you really not forget where it all was. As you pull it out, what I'll do is for the orange one for the rear, I'll plug in that and that, just so that I know that that's where they go. Then for the front motor cable, which is this one here. All a bit tangly. I'll be connecting. Just two of these is fine to remind me where they go. Some of those. These I think remain uh, disconnected. I seem to recall their um, speed de restriction wires. That's what doesn't want them plugged in. So that's those dealt with. And then we've got from our controller, we've got for out of the orange, we've got a white and a black. The orange, we've got a white and a black there, which goes into this red and black. We're going to plug that into this controller. We've got our white and orange. Add to that one. There's more in here. So we've got we've got our orange and black here. Let's connect to this black and red. And then we should have our main display cable here. Which will get plugged into that large connector there. You, you can see how easy it would be to get to get a bit confused with what goes where. So, out of the rest of the section now, which should be all this lot here, we've got this cable which is unused, this cable which is unused, and then we're going to have a black and grey. There you go. Black and grey goes to this single red wire, well it's sort of maroon in colour. 
and then we've got a green and dark green which in this case is just green and green that'll go to there and then now that there's not a lot else connected we will to actually remove the blown controller just like that this one's going back to the manufacturer because it worked for about five minutes and then blew up which you know should be nothing wrong with it but it's obviously knackered and this one's the water damaged one that came out you can see it's all full of sand in there and then our brand new one here And having the second controller, or the blown one, lurking around is very handy for working out where everything went. So, what we've got to do is get all these cables through there. About as fun as it looks. Right, there we go. So, unused. Uh, all right, actually, put that back out of there. So, I cut what colours are what in our connections, and we're missing those ones. Right, so out of our orange side of our controller comes our main I'm sure that's the display main sort of wiring plug harness I'll go to there we've got a white and black should be that one there we've got a orange and black Should be that one there. We've got a white and orange. Go like that. So that's our sort of orange one done. Then we've got our other colours, which are these, which are unused. And we've got a grey and black. There's our grey and black in there. It's all a bit messy, but we can tidy that up after I get it connected. And we've got our two greens. I don't know why they didn't make the colours match up on this, but oh well. Because our two greens are not going to a brown and an orange. And if you didn't know that, you'd never know that, would you? Our orange plug here goes to the rear motor because we left it partially connected. So, I'm going to cut them off, and then our orange plug that's on a motor cable is this one, here, which is going to get plugged in, so we've got our green, got our blue, we've got our yellow like that and then we're going to have our front motor cable here which comes out of the black section on the controller and 
and this blown one is going to go in my box of things for repairing uh, Mantis tents. So, our cables for that one are just here. I'm pretty sure the front motor cable is partially re is is um, the colours on the controllers don't match up. So I'm going to swap the yellow and the blue phases, which will reverse the rotation of the motor. So you could swap any two phases to reverse the rotation of the motor, but I'm doing it with those ones because I already plugged in one of them. And then that's like that. All this is quite the squeeze to get put back, but um, the battery comes up to about here. And you've only got about that much room to smush all these cables away. Uh, controller can't hang out like that, obviously it will need to be turned around and get screwed in from underneath. Uh, battery pack goes in here, which I'll go get that. We'll plug it into the power terminals and uh, we'll make sure it all powers on. Here's our battery pack. It's a uh, 16S7P, so... Yeah. 60 volt, 24 and a half amp hour by the looks of it. Put that on there. That way. One of our controller cables to plug in. There can be a spark when you do this. I did have this one time, it shorted and uh, blew up the connection all over my hands. Let's hope it doesn't do that this time. Right, this little spark, it's all good. What we expect. And then the other side. Hopefully the same again. A uh, bigger spark there. There you go. Right, so I'll bring you out a bit. Pop you over there. Turn on the display. Okay. You can see that the display is turned on. Oh, well, that does things. Down here, you can see. Right, so if we're in a single motor mode, hopefully, that was dual, that'll be single. You should see the rear motor spin up, very light flashes when you press it, and I'll pop it in dual motor mode. Don't know how much you can see because my legs in the way holding this all up, but I held down the power button. Well, you've seen the rear spinning. And I'll pop you about there somewhere to watch the front. All sorted. I do still have all the brakes to sort out on this scooter because the sand has not been kind to it, but it's how to replace the controller. <laughs>